welcome back to another episode of Shea TV. My name is Marissa Hill, and today we are gonna be taking a look at the Sea Star Beachwear Beachcomber Espadrilles in three different colorways. So we're gonna look at the black, the Sea Star orange, as well as the platinum. So let's take a sneak peek. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Shade TV. If you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe right now. Give this video a thumbs up as well. Be sure to leave me any comments or questions that you may have down below. Also hit the notification box. We have a ton of heat coming out that I don't want you guys to miss out on. As well as be sure to check out those membership perks. We've got some amazing perks for our members on those tiers. So take the time to look at that when you get a chance as well as our merch store. As mentioned earlier, this is going to be a little bit different of an unboxing, but I'm so excited for it. This is the Sea Star Beachwear Beachcomber Espadrilles. So this is actually such a dope concept. I'm going to give you guys a little background on it to start and then we're going to get into the overview just like we do with sneakers and then I'm going to talk about size and fit on these since they do not run in half sizes. Then we're going to conclude with how these, how much these are selling on the market currently. So let's jump into a little history and background on Caesar Beachwear. So Libby, the CEO, actually created the brand based upon the fact that she was on a trip with her kids and they were kind of actually making fun of her because she was wearing really just unattractive water shoes. As you guys know, specifically myself, I have never wore an attractive water shoe in my entire life. I hated them as a kid. I always felt like they were ugly and they always were saturated. They didn't really air out very well, even though they were waterproof, but I never felt like I could actually transition my water shoes into my day-to-day -day life. So I'm so excited that Sea Star is helping us bring this new concept out to everyone about how to actually be fashionable in water wear, specifically footwear. So today we're sp speaking on the Beachcomber Espadrille specifically, and these shoes are specifically meant to live in water, but what I love about them is you don't need to necessarily be on the beach to wear these. You can be running around the city, and you know, as far as sweat goes, that's the type of water that you're gonna have to deal with. You know, if your feet are sweaty, these are definitely going to protect the shoe against that perspiration that's going on with your feet. As far as rain goes, if it's a rainy day, this is the perfect shoe to just throw on, slip on, run to the market, run around the city, hop on the subway in because these are going to be protected once again because these are meant for the water. All right, so I wanna just start by going through an overview. We're gonna start actually with the black colorway. We also have the Sea Star Orange and I do have a smaller size in the platinum colorway. Uh, these are all three different colors depending on how you wanna wear it. I feel like all three colors are great for everything and anything and they're so versatile, but I do love the black because obviously you guys know I love me some black, sometimes you're gray. This is gonna go with absolutely everything and anything. So let's start with this crocheted toe cap. This literally gives the effect of an espadrille. They did such a good job in crafting this and making this just look so elegant and really elevating it from just being that, you know, regular plain Jane water shoe. Then when we move up into the toe box area, you're gonna see that this is actually a neoprene upper. So literally like a wetsuit, this is neoprene. So definitely is going to defend you against any and all water and you're not gonna destroy any of the fabric on the top of this toe box here. It's also extremely lightweight, which I love. These shoes literally are so light. I'm like tossing it up in the air because of how light these are. 
and it's extremely breathable. So your feet are not gonna be suffocating inside of these, which is another amazing quality. So we've also got some interior grommets here that you can actually see through. Those are actually to drain any type of water that's getting stuck in there. I don't know how many of you have had water shoes and you actually have to take them out and then like shake out the water. You don't have to do these with these shoes. They've got the grommets there that are literally gonna drain all of the water out of your shoes so you don't have to worry about that, which is like so hassle-free, it's amazing. Then we've got just some nice espadrille stitching going on here and it's a binded Eva midsole. So that Eva midsole is definitely meant to be there for comfort. So water shoes are literally not comfortable whatsoever. And these are extremely comfortable because they've got that Eva midsole that's actually built in the interior of this for maximum support. And then we've actually got an amazing non-slip bottom. So I don't know how many of you have worn sneakers around and you feel like you're gonna fall on your face because they have that wet floor sign. Well, these are shoes that you don't have to worry about that in. If you're walking to the supermarket, it says wet floor, you're not gonna slip and fall. This is definitely meant for stability and stabilization so that you do not slip on your face when you're walking on top of any kind of water, which is so great. And then we've got a secure pull tab on the back here, which is great to help you just get this shoe on easier even though i don't even really need this these are so easy to slip on it is nice that they have that added addition to the back of the heel and then we also have that nice kind of subtle sea star labeling so if you're not all about you know huge labels i do love that it's very subtle on the back there uh, but overall this is such an amazing shoe fashion wise it's very fashion forward for water shoes as you guys know i am not going to be rocking my sneakers on the sand near the beach near any type of water so this this is just a great alternative if you don't want to mess up your sneakers. You know, this is something that you can throw on, you don't have to worry about. It literally is extremely breathable. We've got so many added addition, additional things that just really make this a fashionable shoe to wear. And it looks exactly like an espadrille, but the difference between an espadrille is that is actually gonna get ruined if you walk on the sand and you go in the ocean with them. You're not gonna have that issue with these at all. It also comes in a lot of different colorways. I have right now though the black, the Sea Star Orange, which I think this is definitely one of my favorite colors. It just pops. It's great for the spring, great for the summer. Uh, and then we also have it in this just really cool platinum colorway. So Sea Star Beachwear just gives you so many incredible options depending on your style, your lifestyle. So maybe you're not a beach person and you're like, uh, oh, I don't need a beach shoe. This is still a great option once again on a rainy day. Or if you just want to rock a very comfortable, fashionable shoe while you're walking around the city and say that you are sweating and you don't want to ruin shoes with your sweat. These are great options. So definitely thank you Sea Star for sending these my, my way. I had such a pleasure shooting these and I can't wait for you guys to actually see the styling section on these because I wanted you to see it in a different element. I know that, uh, you know, actually, if you guys go to the website, you may recognize somebody. You'll see that these are mainly shot on the beach, but I love this actually as a city shoe. So this is definitely gonna be my go-to city shoe during the summertime, specifically on those weird rainy downfall days that we have here in New York. All right, so now let's talk about size and fit. So these are size nine. So I'm typically a woman's eight and a half to nine and Caesar Beachwear does not have these in half sizes. So it's really important to really have your size and fit down. I definitely think that the size nine fits me to a T. I do have a size eight and you can kind of see the size difference here if I hold up the two. This is just way too small for me to wear. So definitely if you are in that half size range, definitely size up half a size, do not go down. And uh, if you are a true size nine, I would say stick true to size, don't go up on this one. You don't need to actually go up half a full size. Just if you need that additional half size, I would recommend going up instead of going down. All right, so now let's get into styling. I had so much fun styling these. So because I couldn't fit in the metallics, I styled just the Sea Star Orange in the black colorway. Uh, but just to let you know, these could be swapped for any of those different outfits. 
but I wanted to give you just a different perspective on how each colorway looks with different outfits. So let's actually start with the black colorway. So I actually wore some just simple gray sweats with a polo cropped top that was gray as well. I think gray and black just goes so well together. And that's just a nice comfortable outfit to wear in the springtime and summertime when you're running around the city. And I think that it literally, the espadrille look just really works well with kind of that sweatsuit look. So for the second look, I decided to wear something with a bit more color. So this time I wore just a checkered print button down shirt with a gray shirt underneath. The checkered print has kind of a reddish hue to it with cream. And then I paired that with some shorts that were in a berry tone. So definitely this shoe works with so many pops of colors. So I kind of wanted to give you guys a perspective on what it looks like with brighter colors. And then let's move on to the sea star orange here so for the first look for this i actually wore a hype base wetsuit in a cream colorway just because i love this color so much i really want it to be the statement piece and i feel like it just went so well with that cream colorway for that sweatsuit For the last look, I wore some just simple cream pants and I paired that with a cropped black t-shirt. And again, I think that these go great with just either denim pants of any type of color. Um, I decided to go with cream just because we're getting into the spring summertime and I think that cream is a great color with either of these, even the metallics, uh, but definitely had so much fun styling each of these colorways. So you let me know down below what was your favorite look and what is your favorite colorway out of the three?
Okay, so now let's talk about price point. These all go for $96, which is an amazing price point for the high quality that you're getting for these shoes, knowing that your uh, feet are actually gonna be protected. You're not gonna ruin this whatsoever. So definitely, definitely look at the links down below and check out these amazing espadrilles. These are, again, the Beachcomber Espadrilles. So if you're looking for specific colorways, this is the black, the Sea Star Orange, and the Platinum colorway. I love them all, so definitely give their site a look. And we will be doing some more unboxings for them in the future, so stay tuned for that. Thanks so much again, everybody, for tuning into this unboxing and review. If you're new here and this was your first time viewing an episode, welcome. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Also, hit this video with a thumbs up. Leave me any comments or questions that you guys have down below. Also, hit that notification bell because we have a ton of heat coming out that I don't want you guys to miss out on, as well as be sure to check out those membership tiers and see all the perks that we have on there, as well as our merch store. All right, until next time, this is Shay TV. My name is Marissa Hill. We will catch you on the next episode.